Hello everyone and welcome back to Saurian, where we are here with Runin, who currently he is very alone. He is also still a sub-adult. I don't actually know when he ages up. I realized the last time that the bar is for the actual age and not how close you are to the next stage of growth. So I'm not too sure when that's going to happen. But we made it to this kind of little islandy area and... As nice as this is, it's really not big enough for for Runin to really justify staying. I think he's... He does like the mainland, even if it brings more dangers. Uh, and he realizes, you know, if, if he ever did find a herd, that wouldn't really be a place that could totally support them. It also might not even stay an island when the, uh, when the floods here recede, because as we realized last time, it's very flooded right now. So that's that's something that we want to be mindful of. Now, I, what he's looking for is he's looking for somewhere he can swim across because he wants to get closer to the cliffs on the other side. But, and this game is just scaring me with the random music. Or not random music, but there's, there's just like ominous notes sprinkled into the music and it freaks me out every single time. It's just so scary. But I think maybe we'll have him actually swim across over here. I'm looking for what looks like the the clearest shot. And unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's a lot. But this is maybe sort of closer. I don't know. Runin's going to be swimming for a little bit, I think. And it looks like this is pretty deep, too. So it's not as simple as just walking through the water. Oh. I don't know if you can see it in the distance there, but... It looks like Runin may have made the right call about that island. There's a Rex over there now. Is it coming his way? It is, but I don't know if it's because it's seen him or not. It's just heading in this direction. That's really not good. Well, we are quite far away from it. I think we can reach this side before it can reach us. It's been a heck of a swim. It probably would have been closer to just go from the island. Renan was hoping he could circumvent it. It's headed into the water. It might be following him. Or it might not be. But I'm not sure. And Runin doesn't really want to find out. Oh, now it's swimming. Is it after him? It swims pretty darn fast. Uh-oh. It probably can't fight in the water? This is terrifying. This is like getting stalked by a shark. It's swimming. I think it's just swimming by him. Now, now it's turned around. Okay, I think we're alright. But man, this is not the place you want to be dealing with a Rex. <laughs> Not in the middle of the water, that is for sure. In fact, it doesn't seem very sure where it's going. Maybe it's kind of confused by the flood, too. What in the world is that noise? Alright. Well, I think it's okay. So we're just going to keep heading across to the other side here. Well, we're finally pretty close to the other shore, but... In the time it's taken us to get here, night has fallen, and it looks like it's brought some sort of fog with it. This is not the best of, um, the best of weather to be emerging onto the shore, and we're gonna have to get up here and sleep pretty quickly. I think those are herbivores. I think that's just the kind of turkey like. I think that's just the kind of turkey like ones. Now I think we're gonna go up here and just sleep right out in the open where hopefully if something tries to sneak up on us, it will not be able to do so. And hopefully it'll be pretty close to um to morning when we wake up. We do need some food as well. Rune kind of just crashed and didn't even stop to Hello? Oh, that's more of those, those big herbivore guys. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of them here, actually. I, was, I almost thought it might be other Triceratops for a little bit, but unfortunately, it doesn't seem like it is. I think for as frustrated as Runin was with his old, very temporary herd, 
He is realizing it has been a very, very lonely life without them. And uh, if he could just find somewhere a little bit more peaceful, find some others of his kind. He is getting close to age six, but I don't know if that's when he's going to become a full-fledged adult or not. So he may still have some time to keep looking. This does seem like the perfect place for Triceratops, though, doesn't it? It's nice and open. There's mostly just big herbivores around, it seems like. Not other Triceratops, unfortunately. But uh, just these bigger, bigger ones here. I don't remember what their name is. There's quite a few of them. It's very open, so it'd be easy to see danger. It just seems like a great place to live. And the music is scaring me again. But, I don't know, maybe if we wander around here a bit, we'll see if there's any other Triceratops here. Like, come on, surely there's got to be someone around here, right? It's been ages since we've even seen another member of our own kind. Wait a minute. Is that... It can't be, is it? That's a big herd of whatever it is. Is that other Triceratops? I think it is. It is other Triceratops. Is it one herd or is it two? Are they... They're other sub-adults. There's a lot of them. Oh, what's the... What's the... What's the... What's the herd key? It's not E. Oh, here. Here's the social. Let's try a social display. We'll, we'll see... Hello? It didn't accept me into the herd, did it? Oh, it did! Oh, wow! Look at this herd! Holy smokes! Monima, subadult female, Anatheta. Oh, we can, we can look at... Wow, look at all these guys! Or Anathea, Listias. So many of them. Is there juvenile male, subadult female, subadult female... Who is the... Well, there's a few of them. This seems promising. Oh, you're dehydrated. That's why you're... That's why you're hungry. How do I see your reputation is neutral? Can we see who the herd leader is? Does it tell us? I think there was a way that it told us. Oh, you're hungry. It doesn't really tell us, I don't think. But here we are. I think Rudin's kind of taken by surprise. Like, look at the size of this herd. I think he's honestly feeling a little bit shy. I mean, we'll keep, we'll keep socializing just to try and make some friends. I think he's realized how important that is. Is that still... That's still just part of that herd, I think. Holy cow, guys. Look at the size of this herd. There's like, there's like 10 members or something. I didn't actually count, but goodness, look at them. Well, if Runin was looking for a herd, I think he's found one. But hopefully this time they won't reject him. And hopefully this time he won't pick any fights either. <laughs> he kind of has a habit of doing that. Is this guy the leader? I can't actually tell. He seems to be leading the way. I don't know if he actually is setting the direction for the others or not, but he's the one who seems to be headed towards shore. I didn't notice who was the leader. Maybe I just missed it, but I thought there was a way to tell. Now I don't, now I don't remember. Are we getting out of the water? Oh, thank goodness we're getting out of the water. Runan has done too much swimming this episode. I think he's very ready to be done with it. But you guys... We, we found, we found a herd, and I think, dare I say it, oh, whoa, oh, that's just one of the, that's just one of the others, dare I say it, if we look at, let's look at the herd hierarchy, we're just neutral, I don't think it, I don't think it tells you who the leader is, but, I think maybe let's uh, let's try to be social. This little one's right here. You're a juvenile. Ow, that's gotta like hurt. She's just like, 
she or he, I can't actually tell. Just kind of smacking me <laughs> with the horns there, though, on the way. Oh. Is that social? I think, I think we're making friends. I think we're making friends, guys. I think we're making friends. I, I think this might be a little overwhelming for, for Runin here. But I think he certainly is grateful to, um, to be back with other, other Triceratops. I think, to an extent, though, he's also kind of on edge. Is that even more Triceratops? No, that's the rest of this herd. I think he's, uh, he's still kind of on edge, though, because this is, this is historically when terrible things have started happening. Just when everything seems to be looking up. But I don't know if that will happen again. Maybe, maybe this time things will go okay. Maybe he won't have to worry. I just want some food. There we go. <gasps> maybe, maybe finally we'll be safe. I think Runen was right about this place being a paradise for Triceratops. Just look at this open field. It's perfect for a herd. Oh, oh, and is that it? I saw that they had added, added Quetzalcoatlus, and I'm probably saying that wrong, but I think that might be what's flying around. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my goodness, you guys. Uh, I'm still in shock, too. I mean, like... Wait a minute. Is that... That's just one of our herd members, right? Yes, okay. Couldn't see straight on for a second there. I was a little bit worried that it might be a... Might be a, um, might be a Rex coming up to ruin everything once again. But you know, with a herd of this size, it might even be possible to, to take on a, to take on a Rex. I mean, we are quite strong in number. Like, look at the size of this herd. I think Runin has a lot of feelings right now. It's it's pretty peaceful, actually, which is not something he's very used to. I think it's a welcome change, though. I, I think it would be a welcome relief. After all this time of running and, and fighting and being out on his own, maybe he has finally found somewhere to call home. Now... There is one slight shadow in this bright day. <laughs> and that's... I don't know how long Runin has left of being a sub-adult. He's now age six. I think for Dakota Raptors, adulthood was age seven. And this is a sub-adult juvenile herd. Unfortunately, if Runin gets too old... I think he will be kicked out. So, for as good as things are going, it's not not a secure future. Not just yet. At some point he'll have to find an adult herd too, once he gets a little older. But hey, maybe some of these guys will be around the same age. Maybe they'll age up at the same time and maybe they'll they'll branch off together. Oh, look at him too. Look how pretty he's gotten. Oh my goodness, I don't know if it's because we're just standing here. You you don't look like a juvenile. You look like a sub-adult to me. Look at you. You, I think, are... Well, no, I don't... Maybe not, but, like, Runin, Runin is huge compared to most of them. Who are... Oh, those are also Triceratops, too. Are you a little bit bigger? Are you one of the sub-adults? There are other sub-adults. Yeah, this is just other herd mates. But, yeah, I don't... I don't know. I think Runin might be the senior here. So, we'll see. Hopefully he gets to enjoy at least some time with his new herd before he gets too old here. I'm not used to seeing other dinosaurs approaching in the distance. I keep seeing them and thinking that it's something chasing me, but no, it's just other herd mates. It really is just a, a really huge herd. And I, I think it's such a big herd that we might be getting a slight amount of lag. Again, this game is in early access. They're still fixing some things. And herds are something that is often difficult to handle in games, it seems like. Large groups of entities, so are maybe lagging just a slight bit. But it does look like night is falling, so we are going to have to find somewhere to settle down soon. 
Hopefully these guys will also want to sleep as well. And, man, there's at least, so there's five back there, three here, three there. There's like 12 members of this herd, I think, at least. That's assuming I can see all of them, which I may not be able to. Oh, where are we going? Are we finding somewhere to settle down for the night? Oh, I think perhaps. Perhaps? I sure hope so, because Runan's getting pretty tired. Oh, look at some of the others are socializing back. Are we... We have a neutral reputation currently. Now, I think Runan is going to try to sleep, though, because it is pretty dark. So hopefully he doesn't get left behind. I, I hope it lets you sleep with a herd here. I hope they'll stick around. It looks like some of them are looking back. Right? This isn't going to just... We're not just going to lose... Oh, no, we're not! Look, they're still here! Oh, good! Okay, so they all, they do stick around. I was a little bit worried about that. Well, now I'm worried about... About that. That's not good. We've got... We've got incoming here. We've got incoming here. And we've also got a bigger Triceratops over there, it looks like. Oh? These guys are still headed in the direction of this Rex. Well... We're gonna try and go for this guy then, I think, because I think we've got a big enough herd to try and take him on. Oh, he's Ubi attacking, though. This is- this is a little insane. This is a little bit insane. Oh my goodness, he's just getting swarmed. I don't know if he's actually doing much damage or not. And I think that's an adult Triceratops in the background. Alright, well, we gotta watch out. He's going after the others. Oh, this is time to step up and defend the herd. Time to defend the herd. There's so many swarming, I can't even get through. Oh my word. This Rex is looking a little beat up, though. Yeah, he's, he's not looking so hot. Alright, we gotta back up and try to ram this guy. I think. Our stamina's a little low. Alright, here we go. We're gonna try and try and damage him here. He he definitely is getting um getting pretty pretty badly harmed, I think. Oh yeah, look at him. Yeah, he's kinda hurt. You better stay away. Are they chasing him? We might have to. We're gonna go for him. We're gonna go for him. We need to make sure this guy doesn't have the chance to do any more harm to this herd. I don't know if we're going to be able to. He's going to start hurting us soon. Oh, he's going after- He's dead! We just killed a Rex! Oh, Rudin! I think... You may not have to be afraid anymore. I think we're gonna do a little celebration here. Is he- how is he doing? Is he- he's still neutral? <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. Well, that's- that's just some confirmation, I think. After all, that was one of- one of Runin's biggest fears, is what happens if a wreck shows up and ruins everything. And... As it turns out, that's not nearly as much of a problem as we thought it was going to be. We are a little hungry and a little thirsty, though, so we probably should head to the water and uh, get some get something to eat along the way. There isn't an adult there is an adult trike hanging around too. I see him still in the distance, and I think I don't know. I think Runin's a little curious about that because that's another another Triceratops off on his own, and he definitely. I don't know. I'm not sure for sure if this is... Because he's still age 6. I'm not sure for sure if this is when he's going to branch off on his own again at age 7. But I think he is noticing that that older trike seems to be alone. And not with this herd. And I think he's kind of wondering again about that because... Oh, and look! Look at this! Uh-oh. I, I got stuck for a minute there. Look, the water's receding, though. This used to be entirely flooded. It... It seems like all around, things are taking a turn for the better. And I think that's going to be a good place to leave this off on a note of hope for Runin here.
because things are looking up. Oh, and maybe he's not so big compared to most of these guys. Well, no, he still is. <laughs> I, I think he may age up on this next one because he's starting to look more and more like a, an adult tri triceratops here. <laughs> Um, so he may, he may age up soon, but if he does, then maybe we run off and find that other adult and see if they want to start a herd and uh, find some other Triceratops around the area as well. But we're going to go ahead and wrap this up here for today, I think, because it is getting to be about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.